Let me start by, by welcoming uh, Dean Lloyd Minor to the stage. Thank you. <laughs> well, good morning. Welcome. Welcome to Stanford Medicine. It's great to have you here. You know, this is the only the second year for Medicine X. Year two, and look at all of this. Look at the wonderful people here. Look at the setup. Look at the social media. And it really shows what the dedication and the power and the commitment of an individual can do. And Larry, I want to take this time now for all of us to give you a round of applause for your visionary leadership in making all this happen. Congratulations. You know, Larry so well exemplifies the spirit of innovation and entrepreneurialism that we see every day here at Stanford. We're not attracted to the incremental problems. We're not attracted to the stepwise solutions. We're attracted to study and to have impact on the most difficult problems, the problems that at first seem intractable, the problems that oftentimes you don't even know how to start in order to crack them. And that really is what this conference is all about. As Larry was saying, it's about leveraging the power of information and the enormous amount of information that we have in our society today, combining that with the most innovative technologies and applying it to what I think is really our greatest challenge today, and that is having an impact on health care and quality of life and delivering better value in health care. We try to do this every day here at Stanford, and I'm, I'm a relative newcomer to the environment here, having arrived at Stanford just in September of last year and becoming dean on December 1st. I'd always heard about Stanford innovation and had experienced it through interactions with people here at Stanford, but having the opportunity to be here and be immersed in this community over the past year has really given me much more insight into what it means. Innovation really is the cornerstone, the foundation upon which our programs and our people build their lives and their careers. Let me just give you a few examples of what we're doing here uh, and how we welcome your input into these processes. Big data is a big deal for all of us these days. Uh, the amount of data that, that we accumulate in society is growing in astronomical terms. We could spend a lot of time talking about those. And nowhere is that potential for having impact greater than in biomedicine, through genomics, through leveraging the power of clinical informatics. So last year, we launched a big data and biomedicine initiative. In this room, we had a conference in collaboration with the University of Oxford on how we could have impact in big data. It's a natural it's a natural field for Stanford because we have so much strength in computational sciences and engineering, as well as a premier healthcare uh, delivery system, an outstanding medical school with basic scientists, translational scientists, all on one campus working together. And then collaborating with the University of Oxford that maintains the data repository for the National Health Service of England, an enormous clinical and informatics source of data on analyzing the, the information or deriving information from that enormous amount of data and bringing the most innovative technologies and approaches to doing so. We'll repeat that conference here in this room in May of 2014, and we hope to send you information about it, either whether you come in person or you watch the conference as it's streamed live, or you give us your input in the areas where you think we together could have impact. We're also focusing on transforming patient care, and our first initiatives in this regard are focused on cancer. Certainly one of the most complex diagnoses, diseases that, that we can experience. Complex because it involves integration of multiple different specialties. It involves treatment that frequently spans over months and years, and surveillance afterwards that continues for a lifetime. Complex because we know that genomics has had more of an impact already on selection of treatment methodologies in cancer than in almost other, any other field, and that's only going to increase as we continue to harness the power of the genome, the cancer genome, and understanding what treatments are most effective. 
Complex because the treatment choices, the clinical trials, are oftentimes difficult to comprehend, difficult to bring together. And what we want to do is transform the patient experience in cancer by leveraging the very best science at a fundamental and a translational level, the very best patient-focused care, the very best sources of information to patients and their family, and the finest care coordination to make sure that the stepwise progression through the treatment pro diagnosis and treatment process and follow-up is seamless for our patients. It's an initiative that we're really excited about and that we hope what we learn from this initiative will generalize to other service lines here at Stanford and certainly across the country. So enjoy these days that you have here with us on the campus. Please stay in contact with us. We welcome your feedback, and certainly, as Larry's described, there are lots of ways that you can get us your feedback. Use this opportunity of being here as a beginning of your interactions with us, not as an end. Stay in touch with us, share your very best ideas with us, and enjoy the fellowship and the camaraderie of this outstanding group of people assembled here today and through our internet sources and, the, and all the other people that are interacting with this conference. Thanks again for being here. Have a wonderful time. <laughs>